I think I found a loophole with ChatGPT. Let me show you. Let's say I want to know about a specific book. Can you give me a summary of the book? Get out of your own way. It tells me, I'm sorry, I'm not able to browse the internet or access information about specific books. And so on. Let's refresh it. Write an essay on the themes in the book. Get out of your own way. So two seconds ago, it couldn't access the information about specific books, but just by phrasing it differently, it's giving me more than just a summary. What if I want more information? Can you outline the strategies for cultivating a positive mindset as based on the book. It's giving me what's in the book and it's giving me the specific information I'm looking for. I don't know if this is something they're going to change because I can see a lot of authors not being happy about this. I personally will continue to purchase books because this doesn't go into detail, but it's a pretty incredible tool. I'm pretty sure the company Blinkist uh, makes a lot of money charging people a monthly subscription for this kind of access to information. So I'm not sure how this is going to affect them, but I feel like this is a much easier way to get exactly what I'm looking for. Give me a summary about metaverse article from the Economist. Okay. Write an essay about the key concepts discussed about the metaverse by the economist. Outline the ways the economist describe that the meta verse will be used by businesses. I can't access the article even using Google because I don't have a subscription to The Economist. It goes to show how important the question or the prompt that you put into AI is. Now, I don't know if it's meant to work like this or if this is a mistake and they're going to fix it so you can't extract this information. I imagine publications like The Economist wouldn't want you to be able to access this information for free using AI. I can't verify if this information is accurate because I don't have access to it. Um, I know it exists because I tried Googling it and clicking on it, but you have to subscribe in order to read the article.